okay hello i need to do this because my phone is about to die and i record all my youtube videos on my phone um and my background sucks today i just have my bags kind of chilling there um but i wanted to come on here and say a couple words because we got some news yesterday that um we kind of expected from the doctor on monday so we took Lorenzo to genetics doctor and of course they're saying that there's really nothing sorry my nose is itching they're really saying um they're not really saying much so as far as genetics there's nothing that they can really do for him because if it was genetic it would have happened from birth um but this kind of happened to him out of nowhere so they're still going to do some intensive testing. They're going to take my blood. They're going to take his dad's blood. And they are um, going to do what's called a panel, a full panel. And that's going to take about four months to get back because they're going to find out some things that are in my blood and his dad's blood and then compare it to Lorenzo combined. So that's going to take a really long time to get back. But he says that he's sure he's not going to find anything from Lorenzo because... Like he said, it would have happened from birth. But there was his appointment yesterday. And we took him to neurology. We had seen someone a couple months ago in July. And she scheduled a test for basically like they just like um, shock his nerves on purpose. So like they'll give him a little shock here, give him a little shock on his thumb and so on and so forth and his nerves reacted completely normal. So what the genetics doctor said on Monday was that it might be an autonomic dysfunction, which is, um, so you have two um, nerve systems is how the doctor described it to me. So you have like motor and sensory and don't quote me on this stuff, um, but his nerves completely are completely normal as far as that. So the autonomic dysfunction is on his inside. So like we can control when we go to the restroom and things like that. Like we can tell our bladder like, wait, not yet, don't pee, things like that. And then like we can choose like when we go sit down, then we can pee. He can't, he has no control over any of that. But the sad part of it all, which was kind of made it an emotional day was that we won't know for sure because there's no such testing. For autonomic dysfunction so I didn't know what to say I was kind of in a shock I was pretty emotional to know that this is what two doctors think might be going on but will we know 100% no but this video is for any type of help this video is going to be posted as you already know, on YouTube, on Instagram, on my Twitter, it's gonna be everywhere. Um, Snapchat, I'll probably do a swipe up, but we're not giving up on finding answers for my son. I'm not giving up, his dad doesn't wanna give up, my parents don't wanna give up. We want answers. This happened to my son out of the blue, out of the freaking blue. like. We were celebrating his third birthday. And then a week later, we're in the hospital for almost three months. Like, there is something that has caused this. There is something. Now, I've been sent articles and things about AFM. But I don't know if it's that or not. Like, his doctors, he has great doctors, but they've sh kind of shot down AFM. Like they're just like, no, that's not it. But haven't done any extensive testing or anything. So I just need this video to get us some help. We want to find a doctor or a hospital or someone who can help get us the answers that we're searching for, for my son. He 
if you haven't seen the full story on him I'll link it or you can just go back on my page a couple videos it's not that far down I haven't posted too much yet but we need anybody's help who can recommend a doctor or a hospital I don't care if it's out of state something to help us find what's wrong with our son um the short version of it all was that he was told we were told he had strep he ended up with vocal cord paralysis he ended up with a trach and then he ended up um with a super pubic catheter because his um bladder wasn't functioning on its own and then a couple months later he ended up with an ileostomy bag because his bowels weren't working on their own and now he has to have TPN and lipids, which is basically fats and nutrients through a bag with a central line for 12 hours at night because he doesn't have that much of an appetite. So there is something that caused this and there is a reason why it's still lingering. My son is fully capable of living the way he is. He's full of energy. He's full of love. He's full of excitement. Should he live like this the rest of his life? No. I believe that there is something that can cure this. I believe there's something that can help. I believe there is someone out there who knows what is happening to my son. And I'm determined to find these answers. So that's why I'm posting this video to see. I mean, tag people, share it something there there has to be someone who's like oh my gosh I, I know someone who can help um and I know it sounds crazy but I'm going as far as writing to Dr. Oz if I have to I will go as far as writing to the doctors if you've ever seen that show if I have to I will go as far as writing to Ellen if I have to my I will get answers for my son I will and we are not giving up until we get them this video has to do something. Um, I'm praying that this video does something. I just don't believe in this is the stopping point. If I have to go out of town for a hospital, if I have to go out of town for a doctor, I don't care. But I am really praying that this video gets somewhere to give us some answers. And even if this isn't the video, I will make another video. And I will continue to make videos until somebody or someone, until we get the connections that we need. Um, but I mean, liking this video probably isn't going to get in any we should share comment maybe someone will read the comments and figure out something i just giving up is not an option so if you know anyone send the video if you think of a doctor comment share it something it it needs to We really, we're praying that we get connected to the right people. Um, but, I mean, thank you for watching me rant. So as you know from the title of this video, we need your help. Like, share it. Um, thank you for watching this. Thank you for supporting. Supporting is a big deal for us right now, so. Thank you for watching and giving your time to this video.